Hi everyone, welcome again to another crochet infusion. I hope everyone is well. Um, I'm so excited today because today I'm going to be starting the cal. This is part one, week one. Um, I'm going to be using paint box yarns. Um, you don't have to use paint box yarns. These are simply DK yarns. You can use whatever yarns you have lying around or whatever your yarns you wish to use. Um, also, if you are on my Facebook uh, Crochet Infusion, you will know that I've been um, letting everybody know that I'm doing this cow. and if you wish to have this sheet that we'll be working from, the grid paper sheet, um, I will need your email address so I can send this to you as a PDF so you can print it off at home. Um, you will notice that once you've printed yours off, there is no numbers on this at all. Um, so that is something you are going to need to do if you can. Um, just quickly get your pencil and write numbers from 1 all the way up to 41. So starting in the right hand corner, box 1. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 41. And then starting again in this next box here all the way up to 41 at the top so then once your uh, your numbers are done you are pretty much ready to go um, and you've got your yarns ready I'm going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors a tapestry needle and you will need a pencil because when I'm just going to run over a little bit about this because some people are very new and they don't understand or never done um this kind of uh, work before so a c2c is a corner to corner and they call it a corner to corner because you're working from the right hand corner so this first little box here is one and then two and it works like this and we keep going like this all the way till we reach to 41 so this is our increased our increased side when we reach 41, this is where we then begin to decrease. So that's your decrease, and that will then make that square. So as you're going along, you can either use a ruler or just use your pencil. And I tend to put a little arrow. So we'll be going from down and then up and down and up, down and up, down and up, all the way across. Um, I hope that's useful for you. Um, some people have never, like I say, I've never done a C2C before. So this is going to be a real big task for you, um, especially because I've, I'm doing this with colour as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible for everybody to join in, for beginners um, as well is I'm not going to be using any kind of bobbins. You might have seen people use a lot of bobbins. They use kind of like pegs or they've got actual bobbin pins or they've got handmade bobbins like mine. I'm not going to be using these today. I just made these. It just saves standing out really. But you can make these just with a bit of cardboard. Just get your bank card, draw around it and then just do two little ends and a little slit at the top so it holds your yarn in place as you're working. But for me, I'm going to just cut and reattach on as we're going through working with the colour. So the reason why people use bobbins is because you've got, uh, on our picture here, we've got blue, pink, another pink, another pink and a blue. When we are working like that, you will notice that you're going to be needing more blue down here, more blue up here. And you don't want to keep carrying your yarn across because sometimes you can see it. Sometimes you can get away with it, sometimes you can't. I personally don't like carrying yarns across when it's worked like that. Um, so I'm just going to cut and then we can just sew the ends in at the end. It's going to be a lot more simpler so no one's getting confused. You're not getting your yarns all tangled because that is probably the most pet hate of mine is having tangled yarn. <laughs> so um, I just want to say a special thank you to everybody on my Crochet Infusion group for all your lovely support. Um, thank you all so much for being on my page um thank you so much for the suggestions for this um this was suggested by a lovely lady and also the c2c was suggested by another lady i've merged them both together um and i thought yeah what a brilliant idea so one lady um suggested for the cancer awareness 
another lady suggested for the C2C. So I'm saying thank you, a special thank you to both of those beautiful ladies. So I think we are ready to get started now. So I hope you're all ready and you've got your numbers written in. So I'm just going to give you a quick second to write your numbers in your boxes while I get my yarns. And just another little tip before we start, if you are using paint box yarns, which is great, um, Simply DK, uh, you will notice that these labels don't actually have the name of the colours on, but they do have the colour lot. So I just simply write on my labels what they are before I start using my yarns, because if I want to get more yarns or I don't know the colour that I've got and I've lost the label, I then know what it is. So just a little tip for you. So I'm just going to leave those there and I'm just going to start with this blue yarn. Hopefully you've got your numbers written down in your box and you're all ready to go. So I'm going to be working with this sheet because it's already numbered and hopefully you can see that okay. And I'm just going to move that sheet over the way. Isn't it so exciting? Um, and I will leave a description of the yarns at the bottom um, of this video as well in a description box and I'm also going to be putting the link for Cancer Research if you want to donate yours as well. I'm just going to grab some yarn and I'm going to pick up my 4mm crochet hook. We do this C2C in double crochets all the way through this whole of this just so you know. So to begin we start by making a slip knot. So I'm going to start with my slip knot. Attach it to your hook and now we're going to chain six. So I'm just going to move that there so you can see that there. Put my pencil there. Ready? So chain in six. So one two, three, four, five, and six. Yarn over. We're going to go four into the fourth chain for a double crochet. So yarn over and find your fourth chain. One, two, three, and four. That's one double crochet in that fourth chain. Yarn over, double crochet into the next chain. So now you've got two double crochets yarn over into the next chain you've now got three double crochets that is now square one so I'm just going to get my pencil and I'm going to put a line from the top to the bottom with a little arrow at the bottom so I know I'm working from the top to the bottom in that square one box just like that you see that? just like that that's square number one and because this is an increase round we always work with a six chain of six when you're increasing so we're going to chain six again one two three four five six yarn over into the fourth chain just like we did before one two three four I can get my hook in there. And we're going to do a double crochet. And then we're going to go into the next chain for another double crochet. So that's two double crochets now. Yarn over into that last chain for another double crochet. So you've now got three double crochets and yours will look like this. So now we take this bottom square we're just going to turn it so it's facing towards the left. Where we've done that chain three, well we've done a chain six and then we've done a double crochet in the fourth chain, it's left us with a bit of a loop on the end. If you look closely just give it a little tug and you will see that there is a chain space. You're going to insert your hook into that chain space and do a slip stitch and then you're going to chain three yarn over, going into that same chain space again and work another three double crochets, that's one that's two 
for you. And the last one for three. So if you look at that now, it's like, hmm. We've got our first square here and our two squares just there. So I'm now going to put my arrow going up through them two boxes. And I'll just show you what I mean. So I've got an arrow coming down and then the arrow going up and then we're going to do three. And that's how we're going to keep working like that all the way through the whole of the graph. So we have got two, one and two and then one there so we've done three blocks in total so your tail will be on the left hand side so now we're going to chain six again one two three four five and six yarn over one double crochet in the fourth chain one two three and four and work a double crochet yarn over into the next chain and work another double crochet so that's two and one more double crochet in that last chain so it's like that so you've got two at the bottom one and then one in the top you're going to turn those three the one at the bottom and that one and that one and you're going to go into that chain space like we did before and do another slip stitch and then chain three. Yarn over into that chain space and we're going to do another double crochet in that chain space. That's one and then another one. So that's two and then one more for three. And your work will look like this. So you've got one, two, three, one above and one in the middle. And then we're going to find the chain space at the top of that block or square. Make a slip stitch, chain three, yarn over, and make another double crochet. One, two, and then three. So we've got one, two, three going up on the outer side. It looks like steps. So that is officially number three block done. So we're going to take the pencil and we're going to come down one, two, three blocks. I'm going to put the arrow at the bottom. So now we're working back up. And because we're on the left hand side, your tail is on the left, this is your wrong side. So we chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, yarn over, going into that fourth chain again, one, two, three, four, do a double crochet in that fourth chain, double crochet in the next chain, and a double crochet in that last chain, so that's three double crochets, and then we're going to turn all these hold it onto that very last block and just turn it and then your tail is now on the right hand side this is the right side of your work go to that chain three space just here and make another slip stitch and chain three yarn over insert pull through two pull through two that's one double Two double, that's three double. Then we're going to go into the next chain space and we're going to make another chain three. We're going to do another three double crochets. That's one, two, and one more for three. And then we're going to slip stitch into that top chain three space and chain three again. 
yarn over. One, two, and three. Stop and look at your work. One, two, three, four. You should have four blocks. So take your pencil and you're now going to mark off your four blocks which is going back up. One, two, three, four. Put a little arrow at the top. And now we're going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over. We're going to go in the fourth chain again. One, two, three, four. Work a double crochet into the next chain space and work another double crochet that's two and then one last double crochet in that last chain space and then we're going to turn so this is on the right hand side again and we're going to do the same as before slip stitch into the chain space chain three yarn over one double crochet, two double crochet and three double crochet in that chain space. Into the next chain space, slip stitch, chain three, get some more yarn, yarn over, make another double crochet and another double crochet in that chain space, that's two and one more for three. Slip stitch, chain three, yarn over, double, another double in that chain space, that's two, and then one more for three in that chain space. At the top of that chain space, slip stitch, chain three. And then we're going to yarn over and do another three on this very top. One, two, and then three. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five squares now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If you look when you count down and across and across again, you will have five blocks all the way around. So we're going to come back down those five blocks that we've just done. Say how I'm marking mine off just to show you in case you are a little bit stuck because when I first done this C2C I was a little bit confused on how it was working and I'm trying to do my very best in case you are a very beginner or never done this before just so you can understand how this works so after this um, project is done you'll be like wow I'm gonna do some more of these I'm gonna make my own and you know it's so much fun just get your colors out get some square paper and it's really a lot of fun so we're moving on to the next block now for the next increase so now yarn over chain six one, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over into the fourth chain. One, two, three, four. Work a double crochet into the next chain. Another double crochet into that last chain for another double crochet. And three double crochets. I'm going to turn all that, leaving this top one, and connect it to that chain space by making a slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, into that same chain space, one double crochet, two double crochet, yarn over, insert, 
pull through two, pull through two, through another double crochet into the next chain space. See how this might start getting in your way a little bit when you're working? You can just gently fold that down if you want to, just while you're doing your chain three and double into here, because it can get in the way a little bit. So that's one, two, and then three. And then lift them back up if you did fold yours down. If you make that slip stitch again, I'm just going to fold those ones down again. Chain three, two, three, one, two, and three doubles. Lift that back up, make another slip stitch, move that one out of the way. Chain three, one, two, three. Yarn over, another three double crochets in that chain space. Two, and then three. On to the last square, slip stitch, chain three. Yarn over, another three doubles. One, two, and three. that there for a moment. When you have finished each time when you're doing your increase, if you're a little bit unsure where you're up to, you can just count one, two, three, four, five, six. And because I've put the arrows on here, I know I'm working back up and down. So if you ever do that last, it's a great technique to know where you're up to. Um, and because we are working with colour work, it can get a little bit complicated. So to save getting yourself enough lost, it's always best just to, you know, do that. Just mark it off. You can use a ruler if you wanted to as well. Six. So I'm just going to cross these six blocks off with an arrow pointing up. I hope you are following okay today with this cow. Um, so far, so good. I hope. This is the whole idea why I decided to do a cow for as well because we can all do this together. Um, and on my Facebook page at Crochet Infusion, you know, we can all have a chat. If anyone's struggling on something, someone can help someone. You might have an idea to give to somebody. Um, you know, so we can all join together and do this all together. And this is what I, I really thought was a great way um, for us all to do a cow, a crochet along. So I hope everyone is enjoying it so far. So we're going to now chain six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over. One, two, three, four. Into the fourth chain. That's one double crochet. Into the next chain for another double crochet. So that's two. And then another double crochet in that last chain space. And then we can turn. We're going to do a slip stitch in that chain in that chain space. Chain three. Yarn over. With another double. One. Two and then three moving on to the next block through that chain space make another slip stitch try and keep your tension the best that you can here because it does because you're holding quite a bit of yarn now your tension tends to loosen up a little bit so just be a bit mindful of that as well that's two and then three and this is why i tend to fold it back because if i just work like this my tension will be quite loose because I'm trying to hold on to that and the yarn so I just fold it back slightly that's three three doubles in that chain space into the next chain space another slip stitch 
chain three, yarn over, three doubles, two, three. Into the next chain space, chain three, yarn over, three doubles. One, two, and three. So we're just going to connect to this top last block at the very top. Slip stitch, chain three, yarn over, and do another three double crochets in that chain space. Two, and going to pull that up a little bit, I'm just going to place it down, I'm just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I'm going to now draw, coming back down with a line through them blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, with an arrow. Um, if you do want to stop and go for a tea break, of course you can just pause the video, you can come back to it when you're ready, or you might want to... I don't know, maybe you need to hang washing out or something like that, I don't know. But if you do need to stop the video, by all means do so. Um, but when you do, you can just take a little note of the numbers at the bottom where you're up to, so that when you come back, you know exactly where you're up to. At the bottom of the video, there'll be like a little timer with numbers on there. So I just thought I'd mention that to you if you needed to take a quick break or anything. So I'm now going to chain 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, yarn over, 1, 2, 3, 4, into the 4th chain and do your double crochet, yarn over into the next chain, do another double crochet, yarn over into that last chain space and make another double crochet. Turn your work, your tail is now on the right hand side. Insert, pull through, chain three. Three double crochets in that chain space. Two. And then three. Connect again, another slip stitch through that chain space, chain three, yarn over, another three double crochets, and then to the next, chain three, yarn over, the next chain space, slip stitch, chain three, one more yarn, yarn over, another three doubles, two and three. And sometimes when you're working you might accidentally only put two doubles, not three doubles, that can happen, just always check that you have got three doubles in each block. Another slip stitch, chain three, yarn over, three doubles, one, two, and three. Slip stitch, chain three, yarn over, three doubles.
kan kat semua genre so we have one two three four five six seven eight go back up this and the reason why I say to do this in pencil is so you can then rub it out um, if you ever wanted to use it again um, <coughs> it's always a good idea to do it in pencil you can ever use it again or you know if you did make a mistake you can rub that off so moving on to the next number nine now row nine chain six again one two three four five six yarn over one two three four chain double crochet into the next chain for another double crochet into that last chain for another double crochet three double crochets turn your bottom work and now we're going to slip stitch again and chain three yarn over one two and three slip stitch chain three yarn over doubles slip stitch chain three three doubles slip stitch chain three three doubles stitch, chain three, three doubles, slip stitch, chain three, three doubles, Chain three, three doubles. Slip stitch, chain three, three doubles. <laughs> to that last chain space, slip stitch, chain three, yarn over, three doubles. Okay, then it's going to stop there. We should have nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which we do have. And we're coming back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. So we're actually doing really well here. If you have got this far, I just want to congratulate you. You're doing amazing. Um, I knew you would. Um, yeah this is like a really nice stitch to do it can get so relaxing when you know how to do it um, because it's one of those stitches when you've done it and done it over and over it becomes one of those stitches that you could do about you not having to think as much as you do with some other stitches and it's just so pleasant to sit there um, you know and crochet 
and have fun with it. So it's nice and relaxing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over into the fourth chain. One double, two double, and the last one is three. Three double crochets. I'm going to turn all those blocks and then we're going to connect all the way to the top again. So slip stitch and chain three, yarn over, one. Two, three doubles into the next slip stitch, chain three, yarn over, three doubles, one, two, and then three, chain three, three doubles. Three, three doubles, chain three, Three doubles, slip stitch, chain three, three doubles, and go to chain space. Three doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got about ten. And we can just go back up and cross those ten blocks off. And arrow pointing up. work the next block by chaining six, yarn over into the fourth chain, double crochet in the next chain, double crochet into that last chain, three doubles, turn, Slip stitch, chain three, three doubles, slip stitch into the next chain space, chain three, three doubles into the next chain space, slip stitch, chain three, three doubles, chain three, 
straight above. Slip stitch, chain three. Through the bow. Again, I'll chain six, chain three, through the bow, Okay, so that's another bow done. And again, I'm just going to count before I mark off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now we're going to be working up. Um, and the next row, after we've done this row, we will then be working with a bit of colour. So we will be going on to the, um, the lipstick pink. So we're just going to so don't worry, I will walk you through that as well. So we're now going to chain six. Yarn over, I'm going to go into that fourth chain. One, two, three, four. I tend to just turn it a little bit so you can actually see where you're going when you're working back down the chain. Two, and then the last one for three. And then turn all your work, and we are now working back up this way. And I do have a cat and she's been in my room today and all I keep finding is cat hair. And she is a white cat as well so it shows real bad on this midnight blue. She sneaked in. Isn't it just so relaxing? Chain three again. Yarn over. Three doubles. Slip stitch. Next chain space, chain three.
comfortable. Stitch again, chain three, one, two, and three. And see that top last chain space, chain three again, yarn over, one, two, and three. Now some people might be confident enough to not bother counting those before they not mark it off, but I just always do. Um, I'm just one of those kind of people who just like to check, recheck that everything is what it should be. So I'm going to count these again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we should be able to mark off our 12th box going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 with an arrow pointing up. So I hope this is um, making sense to you why I do the arrows up and down, up and down. Um, sometimes you can just like be oh I'm not sure especially when we're doing the colour so we're moving on now coming back down so I'm just going to count how many blues we've got coming down before we go on to using the pink so I'm just going to put that one there because I've always took the label off this one because we'll be using the pink next so I'm just getting that ready for the lipstick pink um, if you're not using lipstick pink you're darker pink um, I imagine you've got a pink for your ribbon so this is for the outer part colour so whatever colour you're using for that is the next colour so we need to do one two three four five six so it's going to be six squares down before we do the next colour so the first colour of the pink is going to be on the seventh one just there so I've just done like a little dot just to show you so I just like to count those how many before I change the colour so did I say six? one, two, three, four, five, six yes yeah. So we're going to, again, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over into the fourth chain. One, two, three, four. Make your double crochet into the next chain. Make your next double crochet, so that's two. And then do your last double crochet for three. So that's block one going to connect again in that chain space chain three one two three yarn over three doubles one two and three so we've got two blocks now we're going to have three so slip stitch to the next 
chain three, yarn over, pull through two, next double, and another double. That's three doubles. One, two, three, connect again for four, chain three, yarn over, one double, two double, three double, one, two, three, four, connect again for five. One double, two double, and three double. One, two, three, four, five. This is the last connecting of the blue. So we're going to chain three again with another double. So that's one. Another double for two. And on this third double, we're just going to pull through two and then we're going to stop. And we're going to drop that blue yarn right there. I'm going to pick up the lipstick pink or whatever pink it is that you're using and we're going to attach this on. So the way I attach it on, I'm just holding that there so that blue stays snuggy down for me. And you're going to leave a bit of a tail because you might want it for sewing later on, which we will. And we're going to pull through those two blue loops and then we're going to connect jump straight over to that next block and make a slip stitch through that pink. Perfect. Chain three. Yarn over. Keep and hold. Do another three doubles. One, two, and three. Okay. Stop. I'm just going to pull on my tails. And we will be needing to use this blue yarn again over this end because this is going to be the bottom end but rather than attaching on another color down here so that we don't have all these different yarns going on and all these tails everywhere i am going to cut this now we can carry it across but i would rather not if you want to carry yours across that is absolutely fine you go for that but I am just going to cut here, I've left a bit of a tail so we can sew in at the end in case we need to, well it's always nice to um, sew in little pieces. So that is one, so let's see how many pinks we need to do, so I'm just going to count the pinks. So we've done one, we've got two, three, four, five one two three four five so four more pinks so we've done one slip stitch into the next chain space chain three three doubles one two and then three slip stitch one two Yarn over, three doubles, two and three. One, two, three. Four slip stitch into that chain space, chain three. again for my lovely cap. One, two, three, four. This is the last time now for chain in three. One, two, and three. Only pull through two and then drop your pink. And then we're going to attach the blue back on. I know it's a bit of a pain from not carrying yarns and some people to carry yarns it seems a little bit quicker but save it just saves you getting if you're f new to color um, you know it can get really tangled and 
to make your your project become no longer a joy <laughs> because everything's all tangled. One, two, three. But that is the idea for the bobbin pins, so you don't get tangled. But with the bobbin pins, I still think, you know, if you're a beginner, that's still quite difficult to handle when you're trying to work on a project and you've got all these things hanging off your project. It becomes quite difficult. So we've got two blues left to go. So that's one blue. And then into that very last chain space, chain three. Yarn over. And do three doubles. I'm just going to mark this off now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we worked down ways through the pink and then last two. I'm going to do a nice little arrow and then we're going to work back up. And as you see, when we come back up, we've got pink again. So I am going to just leave that pink on for this time because we can pick it up when we come back so don't need to cut your pink at this time I know I said I wasn't going to leave colours on but it's only just for this piece so one two three four five six yarn over one two three four chain and we're going to work a double crochet one and three. Take your work and turn. So because we're working back up we are doing three blues before we get to the pink. So one, two, three. I just like to put like a little dash in each box so I know how many blocks to do before we reach the change the colour of the change change colour. So that's one block into the next chain space. Slip stitch, chain three. Yarn over, three doubles. Two and three. So that's three doubles in that block. So we've done two blocks done that block, we've done that block, we've got one block to go into the next chain space, chain three, yarn over, three doubles, one, two, and then three. But this time I'm just going to undo that third one, I'm going to do that last double again that's two doubles this is the third one we only pull through two loops and then drop the yarn and I'm just going to pick up the pink I know this is a bit naughty because I didn't cut it but it's okay just pull that through those two blue loops and now you're working with the pink go straight into that chain three space and make a slip stitch in chain three so that's pink block one one, two, and three. I'm just going to stop for a moment because we've got the blue down here. I am just going to cut this blue off because we won't be using the blue until we're back up here and we don't need it down there. So I'm just going to cut, leave a little tail for sewing, leave that to one side. I'm just going to count how many pinks we need going up so we've done three blue one two three so we've got one two three four five so it's five pinks going up into the next chain three space one two three yarn over one double, two double, three double. 
into the next chain 3 space slip stitch chain 3 1 2 last one slip through into the next One, two, three, yarn over, three doubles, two, and three. Insert, chain three, and three doubles. So one, two, and the last one. Last double, so pull through two and wrap your pink. One, two, three, four, five. Just double check. One, two, three, four, five. So now we can attach on the blue again. Pull through both those pink loops, pull the pink yarn a little bit to make it secure, go into that chain space with your blue, make a slip stitch, chain 3, do 3 double crochets in that chain space, 1, 2 and 3. Pull up, pull back. Go into the next chain space. Now just work another three double crochets as before. I am just going to my pink here I know we've got pink again um, coming back down but I'm just going to cut it so we can reattach that on it's just in my way a little bit you know so you haven't got so many yarns under you in your way that's why I just rather cut and sew at the end it's going to be a lot of sewing on this I'm afraid but I'm just going to come to the top of here Two, three, yarn over. One, two, and three. Slip stitch to the next, chain three. Yarn over, three doubles. We can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we have gone all the way up row 14 okay so I hope everyone is happy with that before we move on to the next part so I'm actually going to leave it up to row 14 and we can come back next week from row working on row 15 so I'm going to stop the um, 
part one cow now I think we've done really well we've touched a little bit on color we've done quite a bit here to where we've got to there is no rush with this you know if you feel confident and you want to carry on you can do that if you really want to but the idea of the cow is that we're all doing it together and it makes things a bit more fun but if you want to um, that is fine um, I just want to say thank you again to everybody for um, being here and thank you everybody um, you know for being on my group as well it's crochet infusion and like I mentioned earlier special thank you to two lovely ladies who suggested this um, absolutely brilliant idea um, and that is it for today um, I will be back next week on Monday uh, going from row 15 we're starting on row 15 we've gone to the row 14 so until next week for part 2 I will be back thank you everyone bye